Let's take a quick look at Google Chrome extensions. For those of you who haven't used extensions before, they're small pieces of software that you can download and install right within your Google Chrome browser. Extensions extend the abilities of Chrome, allowing you to do your day-to-day -day tasks faster and easier. Today I'd like to share with you nine of my favorite Chrome extensions, which are particularly geared towards teachers who work in a Google environment and those who use Google Classroom with their students. Before we look at those extensions, however, let's take a look at how we would locate and install extensions. Within Google, do a search for Web Store. And we're going to go to the first link, the Chrome Web Store. This is where you can sort through the hundreds of available extensions, read about them, and install them for free. I'm going to do a search for Classroom to see Google extensions that are relevant to Google Classroom. I can scroll through and click on any one that looks interesting, read about it, see screenshots, and access reviews. When I'm ready, I simply click on the blue Add to Chrome button, and the app will be installed instantly. Once you have your extensions installed, they will show up in the top right-hand corner of your Google Chrome browser window. You'll see a small icon for each of the extensions, and by hovering over the icon, you'll see which one it is. Today I'd like to share with you nine of my favorite extensions, focused on teaching within a Google environment. The first one is actually created by Google, and it's a very simple extension, but it's very useful. It allows you to instantly create a brand new Google Doc, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, or form without having to go through Google Drive or go directly to the Docs or Slides website. So regardless of where I am online, I can click on this button and instantly I'll have a brand new blank Doc. This extension can be a real time saver. The second extension I'd like to share is called distraction-free mode for Google Docs, and it allows you to work on a document online without any distractions from toolbars, uh, address bars, or any other information that might draw your attention away from the work you're doing. Let's begin by using our Quick Create extension to make a new Google Doc. I'd like to be able to avoid seeing all of these different icons and buttons and options on the top of the screen because they're distracting me from the work I want to do. So there are two ways I can launch this extension. I can do it by clicking on the extension icon in the bar, or you'll notice right next to the title of my doc I have this new little button. And if I click this, it allows me to enter the distraction free mode. And you'll notice what it did is it took everything away and left me with a blank slate where I could start typing without any distractions whatsoever. By clicking on the small square in the top left corner, I can see my different options. I can send this to be full screen, I can change it to a dark mode or a sepia theme, etc. And when I'm done, I can click on exit and it brings me right back to the full Google Docs view. This is a great tool for students who are easily distracted. The next extension is called Share to Classroom. And what this does is it allows you to instantly share whatever web page you might be on to your Google Classroom. So let's say you're reading through the New York Times and you come across an article that's particularly interesting and relevant to what you're learning about in class. And we want to share this to our classroom. Well, you could open a new tab and copy and paste a link into a new assignment, but that can be a little bit time consuming. With this extension, you simply click on the icon, select the class you'd like to share the article to, and choose whether you'd like to share it immediately with students, create an assignment, ask a question, or make an announcement. I'm going to make an announcement. And when I'm ready, I click Post, and that is sent immediately to my class. Next up is an extension called Roster Poll. This is a neat little tool created by Alice Keeler. This nifty little tool allows you to instantly create a spreadsheet with a list of students in each of your Google Classes. Of course, you can accomplish this through Google Classroom, but this is much faster and easier. Simply click on the icon, select List Classes, select the class you're interested in, and click Make Roster. 
What it will do is pull all of the students from that class and create a brand new Google Sheet with each of their first name, last name, full name, and their email addresses. You can then use this for attendance, collecting assignments, or any other time you might have a need for a simple roster. Next is an extension called Random Student Generator. This extension will browse through all of the students in a particular Google class and allow you to randomly select one student. By clicking on the extension, you can select the class you're interested in, and it will automatically pick a student for you. If they have a picture, it'll show it on the screen. I can do it again and again and again, and it'll pick a random student each time. It does have some settings, so you can control whether or not it shows students' images, as well as how long their name will appear on the screen. The next extension may seem a little bit silly, but it can actually be quite useful, especially when leaving comments or sharing information with your students. It's called Emoji Keyboard, and it allows you to copy and paste emoji into basically any place you want to type. So let's say I'm sharing an announcement with my earth science students, and I want to tell them they did a great job on today's test. I can click on Emoji Keyboard, select the emoji I want, and tap on it, and it will automatically insert it. It's a nice way to enhance how you're interacting with students online. Next up is Talk and Comment. I love this extension. It allows teachers to enter audio or voice recorded comments into their Google Classroom, Docs, Slides, or any of the Google Apps. So for example, say I want to share an announcement with my students. I could certainly click here and type it in. Or with this extension, which I can enable, I can click on this little microphone on the side of the screen and start talking, and it will automatically record my voice. When I'm done, I click on the check button, and it automatically copies a link to that voice note, which I can then paste into my Google Classroom. And when I post it, it automatically transforms from text into a little play box that students can play and listen to. When I'm done, I click on It's a great way to add a connection to your students by sharing information with your voice. Next up is a really helpful tool for any of the Google apps. It's called G Suite Training, and it's like having an embedded Google tutorial into any app that you might be using. You'll notice it up here in my extensions bar, but you'll also see the icon here on my top bar of my Google Classroom. Whenever I'm in a Google app, whether it be Docs, Slides, Sheets, Forms, etc., I'll see this icon. And if I'm stuck and I don't know how to accomplish a particular task, I just click on it. And a search bar opens up with instructions on just about anything I could possibly want to do. The neat thing is that the instructions are interactive. So let's say I don't know how to create a new assignment. I can click on this. To create an assignment in Classroom, first click Classwork. The lesson literally takes over your screen and walks you step by step through accomplishing whatever it is you're trying to do. It's a really powerful tool and like I said it works in all of the Google Apps. This one is pretty neat, though I don't love the name. It's called Make Classroom Great Again. And what it does is it allows you to change the appearance of the new Google Classroom. A lot of people don't like this streamlined material design look, which is all white, and things don't stand out as much as they used to. And so what this developer did was created a little extension that changes the actual appearance of Google Classroom, bringing it back more in line with what Classroom used to look like. While you're in Google Classroom, simply click on it, and then reload the page, and you'll notice the appearance has been transformed back to what it previously looked like. It's a nice little tool if you liked that visual appearance. The last extension for today is called OneTab. This can be extremely helpful for a lot of teachers. Have you ever been browsing the web and you've noticed that before you even realize it, you have dozens and dozens of tabs open within Chrome? That can become kind of hard to manage. And so what one tab does is it closes them instantly, but it doesn't get rid of everything. Rather, it gives you one page with a list of all of those tabs that were open. Let's take a look. I'm gonna click on it, 
And you'll notice that my tabs disappeared and it provided me with a list of links to all the pages I had open. So I'm not losing anything, but I can get to them very quickly and it's in a much more organized fashion. If I do want to close anything, I can simply hover and click on the X and it'll be left and it'll be taken away from my list. And so just to recap, today we looked at Quick Create for Google, which allows you to create Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and Drawings instantly. We looked at Distraction Free Mode, which allows you to remove the toolbars and other distractions from a Google Doc. We took a look at Share to Classroom, which lets you instantly share links into your Google Classroom. We took a look at Roster Pull, which lets you create a spreadsheet of your Google Classroom rosters instantly. We looked at Random Student, which lets you generate a random student's name right out of your Google Classrooms. Emoji Keyboard, which lets you add emoji quickly and easily to your Google Docs and Classroom announcements. Talk and Comment, giving you the ability to add audio comments within Google Apps. The G Suite Training, which is like your built-in tutorial for all of the Google Apps. Make Classroom Great Again, which changes the visual appearance of Google Classroom back to what it used to be. And finally, One Tab, which will clean up all of those open tabs that you constantly have in Google Chrome. I hope you found these extensions to be helpful, and I encourage you to check out the web store to see what else is available to make your day-to-day -day tasks a little bit easier. Thanks.